Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Aralia. I'm very happy to see you today. Today's video is an exciting one. It is a collaboration with my good friend Barbara Jean and we are going to be talking about the challenges of wearing spring dresses for petite and petite plus size women. So as I mentioned, this video is in collaboration with Barbara Jean from Age is Just a Number. Barbara Jean is such a lovely, lovely woman. I love her. I love her sense of style. We are both personal stylists and I really enjoy watching how she approaches styling. Her specialty is styling mature women. Her mantra is always make sure to show up because how you show up truly matters. And that is so very true, especially for mature women. Sometimes as we age, we tend to put fashion on the back burner or we just throw it in a box and put it someplace and it gets lost. And so her goal is to help women, especially mature women, to be their best selves through style. If you are coming from Barbara Jean's channel, I want to say hello. I am so excited that you're here today. What my focus is, is plus size women, but especially petite plus size women. It can be really tough to shop for a petite straight size. The sizing isn't always there for a lot of retailers. It's even more of a challenge for petite plus size women to find clothes that look good, that feel good, that don't look frumpy, don't look old, you know, that aren't just crop pants and t-shirts, you know? I'm happy that Barbara Jean reached out to me to do this video because it's important. And especially with spring just around the corner, we're so very excited to get dressed. It can be a challenge to find things that fit, or you could just be really confused as to what works for your body, for your stature. And so that's what this video is all about. So let's go ahead and get started. As I mentioned, petite plus size dressing has its unique challenges and the rules that apply to a straight size petite don't always apply to a petite plus size woman. So I just wanted to kind of lay that groundwork here in this video. I'm gonna give you a quick patterns 101 here. When it comes to wearing pattern, there are some things that need to be taken into consideration. You've got patterns that are very large and then you've got patterns that are medium and then you have patterns that are very small in scale. Then around that you also have density and by density I'm talking about how much of the background color you can see through the pattern. So a low density pattern, whether that's floral, check, whatever the case may be, has more of the background color that you can see behind it. A medium density is you still got a fairish amount of pattern, and you can still see some of the background color. And then you have a high density pattern. And the high density pattern, pretty much you cannot see hardly any of the background color. You might be able to see a little bit of it, but really it's the pattern that's everywhere, not the color of the actual garment. As a general rule of thumb for petites, especially straight size petites, the rule is you want to stay away from large scale, high density patterns because they're gonna overwhelm your smaller stature. They're just gonna make you look shorter. They're just gonna like kind of overtake you. It's gonna be like the garment is wearing you versus you wearing the garment. That rule doesn't necessarily apply to petite plus size women. And I'm gonna be perfectly blunt here because visually there's more of us to see. We're bigger, there's more mass. And so we can get away with wearing a larger pattern. You don't have to stick to the smaller ditzy prints. Play with the scale and the density of your patterns to find what looks best on you. But as a rule, just general rule of thumb, I would say go for no larger than a medium scale pattern, medium density. You can do a small scale pattern, in a high density, I think that will work fine for petites because what ends up happening is that there's so little background color that the pattern kind of becomes the color. Visually from far away especially, it doesn't really make that much of an impact. Let's start out by talking about the thing that always comes out at springtime and it, you know, it's a Devil Wears Prada moment, florals. Florals are everywhere during the spring and I'm here for it. I love florals, I do. I am such a fan of the flo of a floral pattern. During the spring, I just feel like wearing more color. Everything is so light and bright and happy. And so I tend more towards brighter, lighter florals. What I'm showing you here are a few dresses that I have. The first one is this yellow floral dress from Scoop that I got last year. And it is a small ditzy print. However, there is so much of it. It is a very high density 
ditzy ditzy print though. So from far away, you can't really tell. Up close, it's not taking away from you. It's not making you look any larger or smaller. It's just there. And it's quite beautiful and very flattering and has a lot of really pretty colors in it. Then I am wearing a pink flowy dress that I got from H&M. And this one has a medium sized pattern, medium density. And so it's not overwhelming me. I think that this pattern actually is the perfect scale for a plus size petite woman. It's perfect. It looks like substantial enough without getting lost on you or without overwhelming you. Then I have this other dress. This is a dress that I got last year at Target. It's a Sandy Liang at Target collaboration that they did. And what I like about this dress is that it has a multitude of patterns on it. So she decided to play with pattern. But if you notice, the pattern that she has is very, very well balanced. The density of the floral and the dot that it has is the same density as the leopard print, is the same density as the medium gingham. And so there's a really, really great sense of balance in this dress in all of the different patterns that she selected. And the reason that it works on a petite plus size woman is that the pattern isn't too large. It's not overwhelming. And the fact that she's broken up the pattern and has it kind of like a patchwork quilt kind of thing going on, it actually, it's very beautiful and quite flattering and does not take away from your stature. At least I don't think it does. I really like this dress because it does have that pattern play in it, but all of the patterns are in a scale that works for a petite plus size woman or even a straight size petite woman. The next point that is a challenge, especially during the spring, is that a lot of the dresses that I love are meant for taller women. So women that are five foot five on up. What's a midi length on a standard model that they use is actually a maxi length on me. I don't like wearing mini dresses. You can absolutely wear a mini dress as a plus size petite if you really love that style. I think that it is great. It is going to elongate you. But if you like the longer styles, if you like the longer dresses, dresses, then just know that they are going to be maxi length on you. Now, how you can mitigate the length though, is with the type of shoes that you wear. And here is where nude shoes play a big role as well as strappy sandals. There's a lot of your foot being exposed and that is going to help to elongate your leg. Another option for you that is on trend right now are vinyl shoes. And there's a lot of them to choose from out there these days. And I think that they're actually perfect for any kind of petite woman, whether you're petite plus or straight petite. A vinyl shoe is an excellent alternative because it completely disappears and your leg looks way, way longer than it actually is. It gives that visual illusion of length. I do have on a tan strap shoe. It has a lot more visual mass because the leather straps are really thick. It's a beautiful shoe. It's actually one of my favorites, but when you're wearing it with a longer dress, especially one that is a maxi length, it really is going to kind of cut you off unless your dress happens to be in the same tone as the shoe that you're wearing. When it comes to wearing dresses that are hitting you below mid calf or all the way down to your ankle, Opt for a clear shoe, a nude shoe, or um, something in a, in a really strappy style because that's gonna flatter you the best. That's gonna make you look a little bit taller. The other thing that happens during the spring I found in dresses is that there's a lot of um, trapeze style dresses, a lot of boho um, tiered kind of dresses, um, or just really big caftan style dresses. And as a petite woman, whether you're petite plus size or not, um, those tend to swallow you up. And they're just going to make you look like, you know, you're a little girl playing dress up in your mom's clothes. It's going to kind of give off that vibe. So always, always, always wear a belt with dresses like this. And I know that a lot of my petite plus size, especially my round shaped women do not like wearing belts, but don't be afraid of belts. Belts actually help you 
to look slimmer. They help you to look taller. It's just a matter of placement. You just need to find the smallest point on your waistline and that is where you want to situate the belt. Then you want to zhuzh the dress a little bit to help it balloon some and that's going to give you a really beautiful shape. It's going to give you some definition and it will help you to look taller. A lot of these types of dresses come with their own belts, a cloth belt. What I have found though is that they are actually quite flimsy and they're, they just just make me feel unkempt. I don't feel as polished as I could. If you're thinner, those types of cloth belts tend to work better on you, but as a plus size petite, they don't always work out so well. So what I always do is I discard the belt or I hang on to it in just in case I might wanna wrap it around myself like you see me doing here. But what I do is I pull out a leather belt and I love wearing a belt with a big dress like this. When you're shopping and you see that the dress is kind of shapeless, take a beat and think about how you can style that dress. Don't just automatically think that it's not for you because you can put a belt on it and it's gonna look really, really great. Or you can wear it loose if you really want to. I mean, at the end of the day, you wear what you wanna wear. The other thing that I wanted to point out, I've got my shirt dress on. I decided to put a dark belt on it and it's a very bright yellow vertical stripe dress that I got from J. Crew. I just felt like it cut me in half too much. If you're going to wear a belt and you're petite, you probably want to wear a belt that is close in tone to the dress that you're wearing because I changed it out for this nude or beige, I should say, Obi belt and it looked much, much better. I disrupted the line of the dress less with that lighter toned belt and I felt that I looked very much put together. Always consider the tone of the belt, make sure that it's working with what you're wearing. Of course, Sometimes you might wanna go for contrast like I am doing with this sage green dress. I really like the contrast of the dark belt with this one because it does balloon a little more. It's a bit rounder in shape. It's more in harmony with my own body shapes. I do have a lot of roundness to me. And so this dress, because it's got a lot of that roundness, then it can work on my body type with a darker belt. With a shirt dress, not so much because it doesn't have a round shape. Shirt dress is very rectangular in nature. And so a darker belt was actually cutting me down a little bit too much. A lighter toned belt worked better. To be in harmony with your body type, you wanna pick a pattern that is in line with that. So if you have a rectangular body shape, you wanna stick with geometric prints like plaid or um, gingham or something like that. For me, gingham is my absolute favorite spring summer pattern. I love it, it is just so beautiful, it is so effortless. Because I am round though, how I mitigate that geometric pattern is that I make sure that I find dresses that are flowier, that have a lot more volume to them, like the dress that I am wearing here in my example. This is a dress that I got from Target last year. I adore this dress, it was my most favorite. I wore it nonstop and I really felt that the geometric gingham print worked well on this dress because the dress itself was very round in nature. Even the way it cinches in with the smocking at the waist creates kind of like this, almost like a bubble up on the top. And then where it hits at the waistline, it kind of flows away from the body and creates another rounded shape and then you've got the tier at the bottom that creates yet even more roundness and curve and flow. And so this dress for me is a perfect juxtaposition of geometric and curvy and so pretty much any body type could get away with this dress because it's got that really really good balance of both sides. And then shirt dresses. Shirt dresses to me are the, the preppier version of spring dress. I love a shirt dress. Shirt dresses to me are incredibly versatile. They're perfect for the spring. I absolutely love them. And I think that they're really fun to wear. And so I decided to pull my shirt dress in because you might see some out there. You might be like, I don't know. I don't know if I can pull away, pull off a shirt dress. You absolutely can pull off a shirt dress. Another way that you can use a shirt dress 
during the spring, especially because springtime, the weather can be a little bit iffy. Shirt dresses are an excellent layering piece, I think. You can wear them as a long duster, shacket type thing, you know, and they work really, really well in that capacity. And I love wearing my shirt dress that way. This is a great opportunity to find a new way of wearing this shirt dress. So don't be afraid of getting the shirt dress. Don't be afraid of wearing it. Think about layering it. Those are some things to consider when it comes to wearing a shirt dress. Those five tips are what I have for you today. Make sure to check out Barbara Jean's video. I will have her video linked right here for you so that you can go and check it out. If you go and visit her channel, please make sure to tell her hello from me. And if you are here from Barbara Jean's channel, I hope that you decide to stay and subscribe and also click the notification bell. Thank you for your time. I truly appreciate it. Remember to live your life filled with confidence, grace, and style. I will see you in my next upload. Bye.